What's up? It's Ikemel, and I wanted to give you an update to the story. The person that commented on my last video was being truthful and accurate, and I would love to hear your thoughts. I'll put the playlist down below if you haven't been following the story, and I want you to tell me what you think about this, okay? So the four-year-old that flew out of the window or balcony, I guess they're saying it was a window. So we, that, that's the whole question answered here. It was a window. Jesse Del Dusa was at his family's vacation condominium with his twin brother, mother, father, and aunt at Quattro Main Condominium. Jesse's father, Phil, opened a window, which also had a screen in Jesse's room to allow the breeze to cross through at around 1120 a.m. on Saturday. OK, so he opens the window. Now, when he came back into the bedroom, the window screen was partially bent out. So he removed the screen, which is kind of bewildering to me, put it on the bed and closed the window. Later, Jesse's aunt walks in and noticed that the screen was on the bed and opened the window and she looked down and saw the boy on the ground. What confuses me about this story, okay, so let's get this right. Let's get this right. The father comes in, opens the window which also had a screen on it to allow the, cre the breeze to cross through. So at this time, obviously there was no bent in the screen. When he comes back into the bedroom, the window screen was partially bent out. So he removed the screen. Why? Why would you? I just, I'm not sure that makes much sense to me and put it on the bed. At this time, when you remove the screen and put it on bed, where is the child? Did you not look for the child? I mean, this just doesn't add up to me. It's kind of weird. So then it takes the aunt to walk back into the room later and she noticed that the screen was on the bed and she opens the window. And that's when she looked down and found the boy on the ground. The story ends with the boy's mother, father, aunt rushing down the stairs and they called 911. Also another resident. And it was ruled an accidental fall. How, do the, how, do, how does the medical examiner rule it an accidental fall, though? I'm not saying that it's not. But how do you know that? Like, how could you tell? Right. I don't know. Were they able to examine the screening? I don't know. It's, it's just weird to me why the father would walk in there and you know, he, it had a screen initially, then he goes back into them, he sees that it's bent, so he removes the screen and puts it on the bed and closes the window, where's the child at that time, I just, how, how do you process that, right, I don't know, maybe there's something they didn't say and we're missing, and the aunt comes in after and notices, uh, so for parents out there, man, uh, you know, it's not a good idea to have the window open, even with a screen, uh, with a child bouncing and jumping. I mean, if you do a search online, I mean, it just seems like there's a bunch of these cases. And what is this? Yo? Is this some sort of phenomenon? Are all of these situations accidents or some of them not? I mean, how many kids are falling out of windows and why is this happening? It's just it just seems like such a senseless death, preventable death. You know, like eight year old falls from a balcony. Let me know your thoughts, man. Take care of yourselves. Be safe. Um, peace.